Hello, my name is Amy Ecker. Welcome to my channel. So today we are doing the spring Fab Fit Fun Box unboxing. I did buy a, a few extra bits, I think. I can't remember. I think I did. I think I did. So yeah, let's get started. I don't even know where to start. Okay, so we've got all kinds of things on the outer side of even the FabFitFun box. So this is going to be a little bit off the hook. Probably a pretty scattered unboxing. Let me take a moment and try to clear off some space. Whew. All right, we are getting into the FabFitFun Spring Brock. Spring Brock. Spring Brock. We are getting into the FabFitFun spring box yes we are and i got some additional goodies that were marked down marked down marked down because they give you a great sale so i also bought some additional items to try so that yeah the prices were too good to be to pass up so let's talk about uh the fab fit fun spring box shall we okay so our first item let's back up I love the catalog. I have not had a chance to read anything in the FabFitFun catalog because obviously you've seen I've just gotten into this box. When I first with joined FabFitFun, they would send you a box. Now they've kind of evolved and you can pick items and I love the fact that you can pick items. So some of the items that I'm going to show you some of the items that I've picked. As far as the total value of the box, it depends on the selections you make. So you could either have had a total value of $226.99, $226.99, or you could go up to even as high as $314. So we're gonna talk about some of the items that I chose. It seems like it stays summer all year round in Dallas with the exception of a few days. And so I wanted to try this Show Me Your Moo Moo robe which i think is very pretty kind of girly which i don't normally do girly so i thought that could be fun here is the and it's probably a one size fits all if i could fit into this this mumu mostly because you can wrap it and tie it this mumu is actually very comfy i think rob is going to be kind of shocked that i have on something girly because he's just not used to something i don't wear flowers but i'm going outside my comfort zone this show me your moo moo uh brie robe is normally retails for 84 dollars. i think my box ended up being more on the high end because i picked the robe but yeah I'm going to be kind of The girly. second piece, I went ahead and chose the sunglasses. And yeah, I picked the most expensive ones. Let's just go ahead and say my box is $314 out the gate. Whoops, I guess I have expensive taste. I never look at prices when I pick. I just pick, what do I want to see? We have these Koi Australian Vivian in Black Smoke glasses. These normally retail for $60. These are oversized aviators features a black metal frame, double bridge, and adjustable nose pads for no slip wear. I look like I'm ready to fly my helicopter, but I'm a little curly. <laughs> I am excited about the oversized bit, especially because it does get very bright and hot in Texas, so having something that protects more around the eyes is now, fantastic. Now, I did pick these uh, copper-plated measuring spoons. I thought these were gorgeous. My husband actually does more of the baking and cooking. I can't be bothered. I mean, I may dust my kitchen, but I can't be bothered to be in my kitchen. Unless I'm mixing a cocktail for friends or pouring them a glass of wine. But I did really like how these looked. And these normally retail for $15. They are really heavy weight. Like, I was thinking these, you know, might be a little bit lighter weight. Shall we say a little bit cheaper? But no, I'm pleasantly surprised. Um, these retail for $15. 
absolutely love it. So Rob is going to get a surprise. Mm-hmm. He doesn't know it yet. Too bad it's not Christmas. Those would have went right inside his little stockings. Okay, so next we had the opportunity to, to choose again. And I do like makeup items. That's just who I am. I like playing with, with uh, trying to find the perfect makeup items. This is actually the Siete from London Extraordinary Translucent Powder. I've never tried that, so that kind of piqued my curiosity. This normally retails for $22. It's uh, the secret to flawless makeup. The secret is now out, right? If this is a secret to flawless makeup, we're about ready to just not have it be a secret anymore. Okay, the next bit is from Tula Priobot Priobotic. Is that even right? Priobiotic. That would be right. Skincare. It is a purifying skin cleanser. It is 6.7 fluid ounces, and this normally retails for $28 for 6.8 fluid ounces. I thought that was pretty good. It smells clean. It says this is almost has a baby, um, not baby powder, but it's got something like that that is just clean and oh, you just want to snuggle it. So this is. This isn't an ordinary cleaner. It uses power of probiotics to gently remove dirt, impurities, and makeup while leaving the skin balanced and purified. So very, very excited about using this. You're supposed to massage it on wet skin and rinse with water. Mm-hmm. Looking forward to it. I really like skincare items. I love makeup, I love skincare items, hair care items. Those are just my jam, what can I say? Next we have the, I don't even know how to pronounce it. It has more vowels. No, it has all vowels, almost like my name. So you think I could identify with it, but I can't. Is it way, we? No, we would be O-U-I, way? I don't know. Can I would say comment below, but y'all, how are you going to tell me by comment below? Maybe phonetically? Help me out. Help this girl out. This is a leave-in conditioner. This is 4.7 ounces, so cannot travel with it in its current state. I'd have to bring this down into a smaller bottle. It's a multitasking leave-in mist that works all day to smooth, soften, and detangle hair. I just washed my hair this morning, so this would have been nice to know about. I could have given a review right away. This normally retails for $26, and this also has some detangling elements. It has some moisturizing properties, and it also has enhanced heat protectant. Really, really liked the sound of this, and this normally uh, retails for $26. Okay, I think this is what, something that I had received before and maybe one of my BoxyCharm subscriptions. This is the Needles No More, No More Baggage. It's an eye depuffing gel. I went ahead and took it out of the box. I don't know why, but um, this normally retails for $42. It says, don't be afraid of the salmon shade. It's meant to color correct dark circles. Use your ring finger to pat a pea-sized amount directly under your eyes. My sister-in-law, Sabrina the Makeup Mom, really likes this. I still have my other tube somewhere, which means I don't use it, obviously, if I'm not. I mean, I kind of know where it's at, but I have a box. I think it's in that box. I just haven't used it. This will be going to Sabrina the Makeup Mom, because I know she likes that. I believe she does. We're going with that answer. Sabrina, if you don't, you're getting this anyways. I did mention that retails for $42. Last but not least, very excited. Anytime anything says champagne, call this girl in. Champagne? What? what? I'm here. So this is a champagne charcoal scrub. It's an exfoliant. It's formulated with charcoal and Dead Sea Minerals. Already loving the sound of both of those. And it's a luxe and gentle body scrub removes dirt. That just sounds weird. I'm sorry. I just paused after I read that. Well, we would hope anything we use in the shower would remove dirt, but when I think of dirt, it's like I've already been rolling around like, I don't know, I've slid into third base. This is really weird marketing. Anyways, I gotta start over. I'm sorry, I got sidetracked. 
formulated with charcoal and Dead Sea Minerals, the Lux and Gentle Body Scrub removes dirt for polished, hydrated, and refreshed skin. This normally retails for $24. I just finished the Dove one that I believe FabFitFun put in their box a while ago. So let's see. Oh, snap. Is the dark black of the charcoal. So this dark color here is not the packaging. It's actually the charcoal color. And this smell is off the hook. I need to get like, go ahead and use this, get in the bath, have my champagne with my champagne body scrub, maybe some chocolate cover strawberries, because that's what that smells like is amazing. I am all about getting into this thing very, very soon. The net weight on this is 18.34 ounces. So this is kind of a big one. It's a big one for 24 bucks. Very excited Fat about Fit that. Fun is going to have a spring edit sale that starts April 2nd at 9 a.m. Pacific time. So kind of curious about that. Maybe I'll find out more when I go into reading. Talk Fat about Fit some fun. of the extras that I had added on One to my box. One is called Teas. Teas. It's Mother's Helper. It's a green tea Yerba Mate blend. It's uh, basically designed for moms who never get a day off. While I don't have children, I do have, I do have a, a crazy stressful job sometimes. Although I love it. I love me some stress. This tea, you steep it in your cup, but you leave the tea leaves in there to steep throughout your whole drinking experience. And it says you'll suddenly wonder how you gained five hours in your day. If that's the case, this will probably go into an IV bag. Mm-hmm. Because I can use all the energy anyone wants to give me. I seem to have low energy lately. Okay, let's talk about Back to Iceland. This one caught my eye and actually I didn't know exactly everything that was going to be in the FabFitFun box. So I went ahead and was running low on some cleansers and really wanted to try something new because the ones I have still are the ones that are, eh, they're there for backup in case I run out of anything, but they're not my favorites. That's kind of where I'm at. I'm absolutely looking forward to trying Back to Iceland. It has a cleansing water, a cleansing foam, and a peeling cream. Hmm. And the back of it is written in a language I'm not even sure how to read it. So I'm not quite sure where this is. Okay, this these are made in Seoul, Korea. So we're going to check these babies out from Seoul, Korea and see how well they now, do. I do like the Coors Body Butters and so I went ahead and ordered one in Fig because I thought I've never tried a Fig one. But this Body Butter really is just, it makes your skin feel amazing. It makes it feel quenched but not... Not greasy. It has a juicy scent of freshly cut figs, which seems to be kind of something that would be amazing I for spring. I also picked up some 100% pure argan oil. This is for the face and body. It's in a spray. And it doesn't have a smell. That was the only going to be the downside because the argan oil, while I like it, I don't like a heavy argan oil smell. This doesn't have a smell, so that makes me extremely happy. This is in two fluid ounce. I look forward to updating you on that. We also have the Wild Rose Vitamin C Brightening Sleeping Facial. I like rose scented things. Not kind of like the grandma perfume kind, but I do like a hint of rose. I'm excited about trying the sleeping brightening night facial. Hmm. This may have to happen tonight. They also had some makeup cleansing balm. So it's a makeup melt cleansing balm. I, I wanted to try that. I've tried a melting cleansing balm in a little bitty container. I think I got from Sephora and... It intrigued me. So I wanted to try something a little more often, so we'll see how we that works. We also have the Dr. Brandt, because I do like Dr. Brandt a lot. They're kind of pricey. Some I can get Dr. Brandt in a BoxyCharm, a FabFitFun, or any kind of subscription. I get tickled. And since this was on sale, I had to go ahead and try this because I've never tried the Dr. Brandt DNA, Do Not Age, Time Define Cream. Mm -hmm. I just don't need to, like, defy time. I want to rewind this skin back to my 20s and 30s. Is that too much to ask? 
gosh, I miss not having wrinkles. Speaking of time and how things change on your skin, yes, young ladies, please enjoy your skin. I thought my, I thought I was going to have beautiful skin forever. Yeah, no. Murad has a rapid age spot and pigment, 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 <laughs> pigment lightening serum. Very excited about that. This is basically one fluid ounce. Looking forward to totally using this very soon. I started out with like one cheetah spot. I think it's up here. And then I got another cheetah spot right about here. And I noticed today I have a third cheetah spot. And that is really depressing the heck out of me. I don't like the cheetah spots. I mean, it's bad enough that my skin is so white that everything shows up on it. But then when you add the cheetah spots, it hurts the girl's feelings. We are going to try this Murad Rapid Age Spot and Pigment Lightening Serum. They had me at the word rapid. If this doesn't work rapidly, you're going to hear about it. Because this girl needs some cheetah spots gone. Okay, that has a really clean smell. Ooh, it's kind of, kind of like a gelatin type feel. Very, it's a, it's a serum, definitely a serum. Love the smell though. Oh my gosh, it does smell almost like you bit into an orange or maybe a tangerine, something with vitamin C obviously in it, but that is an amazing smell. Last but smell. not least, I picked up the Luxie brushes. So I had gotten Luxie brushes in another subscription around Christmas time. And so I gave those to my cousin's girlfriend because she started getting back into makeup and playing. And so I wanted her to have my Luxie brushes. I have like a couple of them and the few that I have, I really like. What I really liked about this is it's a traveling type container. And that intrigued me because, as y'all know, I do travel. And to be able to have all my all these brushes condensed into a travel form is fantastic. So I'm actually have a couple out of state flying trips this next month. So I will be uh, using these. I, I'm looking forward to seeing which ones out of these that I like and how does this travel case do. I mean, right now it feels like the snaps do pretty good, which is what I want to see. It doesn't open in my travel case, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing what this does. So y'all might hear about this sooner than later. Okay. Whew. I feel like I haven't taken a breath. There is just so many amazing products here that yeah, I really don't feel like I've taken a breath at all. And I'm sure you guys think I haven't taken a breath either and your ears are bleeding. I am sorry about that. FabFitFun is on my top two of subscriptions. Absolutely love this subscription. As far as this month goes, this I would say is my top favorite subscription box this month. This has just been absolutely amazing. And I like the add-ons at a discounted price. Thank you, thank you, thank you FabFitFun. I really appreciate you in this subscription. What does your FabFitFun box look like? If you've subscribed, if you haven't subscribed, kind of tell me why you haven't subscribed yet. Yeah, I'm just really kind of curious to hear from you. What are some of your thoughts on these products? Are there any that you want to see me try before others? Because I got a lot of trying to do. I got a lot of trying to do. That's all I got to say. All right, y'all, you have a fantastic day and we will talk at the next FabFitFun unboxing. Yes, we will.